Benvenuti in uh, questo contenitore digitale dove noi di Netafem Italia abbiamo l'obiettivo di rispondere in modo sintetico e moderno alle sfide che gli Good morning from Netafem Italia. We are a company that has always worked in the field of precision agriculture providing innovative and effective solution to to farmers who work in in an increasingly complex environment especially because of uh, climate change. The impact of climate change is such that today's problems were not um, experienced in the past and they are very difficult to forecast. Today we are going to talk uh, about um, different issues. Actually, we've got different seminars for different issues. One on protected crops um, to help you perform, have profitable agriculture. Second is um, irrigation and fertile irrigation in a agriculture 4.0 agriculture context. And the third issue is uh, uh, protection of crops, in particular protection from frost. Netafim's mission has always been the same, helping farmers get more with fewer resources. This is what drives us as agronomists, as specialists in irrigation. And we hope that with these digital opportunities, we can give you answers to your questions. If you then have additional questions or things to be clarified, you, you know that we have a network of of technicians and marketing people who can help you. So please don't hesitate and contact us. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning in this webinar. I'll be talking about the most innovative te techniques for active pro protection systems in the case of um, problems and damage caused by spring frosts or late frosts. Um, this issue has been discussed very frequently in the last few years because climate change has led to an increase in the frequency of late frosts. And we know that in areas, Mediterranean areas like Israel, for example, there are problems like this one. Many plants can be seriously harmed or destroyed by frost and the global climate change has exposed areas to this factor and active protection is an important tool to maintain or perhaps increase our productivity. Before starting, let me uh, mention the 2017 uh, climate events where in Italian Trentino and in the Champagne area in France there were huge problems that had an impact on production. In that case, the use of uh, torches or uh, field fires uh, helped um, reduce harm, the damage. What are late frosts? Well, these are um, meteorological events associated with certain uh, conditions. The um, most dangerous frosts for us in Italy are spring frosts, uh, where when the uh, energy, solar energy during the day increases temperature, but then at night uh, there is a heat dispersion and heat goes upwards. And as a result of this, at the ground level in the very first few meters, the temperatures drop below zero. This condition means that if the plant is sensitive to this low temperature, the organ of the plant can be badly affected. Uh, the ideal condition for uh, spring frost is a clear sky and no wind, and this leads to heat exchange that can uh, cause temperatures much, uh, very much below zero. And this event is usually a, a counterpart of the rise in temperatures during summer. So, in the past few years, we have seen um, 
higher temperatures in summer and also in winter but at the same time we have seen an increasing frequency of spring frosts for example uh, we had spring frost in 2012 2016 april 2017 may 2019 and march 2020 that was a bit earlier but it's considered a spring frost as well and um, these are caused by heat exchange inversion and this causes damage to plants and buds. What's the critical temperature? The critical temperature is the temperature any um, each sorry plant is sensitive to based on the phase it is going through based on its phenology when the buds open up as it were and the vegetable tissues become richer in water the plant becomes more sensitive even if the temperature is not very much below zero minus one minus two and the factors affecting critical temperature is the growth phase the phenological phase for example fruit setting whether the plant is dormant or not its water content and the overall health status of the plant. Obviously, a robust, a sturdy plant is less sensitive and also an earlier vegetative phase. And uh, having warm winters means that plants tend to have an earlier vegetative phase. Let's consider the different um, critical temperatures for different phenological phases of plants. Apple trees that usually are doing well in uh, foothills have a higher temperature, um, a higher sorry, resistance of course, however, um, we can reduce harm if we adopt active protection measures. And you can see that uh, you may have uh, the risk of losing 90% of your harvest or a 10% of your harvest. So just changing a couple of degrees can modify the situation significantly. For peach trees, um, this is the same, even though the sensitivity of peach trees is much higher. So usually palm trees are more resistant than stone uh, fruit uh, trees but once uh, flowers have opened up and we can see for example in the Po Valley here in Italy harms to these plants can be significant let's now show your solution the Netafin solution for active protection uh, against um, um, spring frosts. Now, there may be uh, plants that can be used uh, moving air or um, cover can be used uh, or uh, maybe um, braziers, burners can be used as well or frost protection covers. Uh, but of course, this, uh, these are um, helpful, but we believe that in terms of active protection, uh, we could use micro sprinklers. So using water, a very specific technique that uh, is very easy, user friendly. The advantages, the benefits of water are that operating expenses are limited, not very high. We know how easy it is. It uh, a water is adaptable to different uses in and in different circumstances, including sloping terrains. And the water has a high energy efficiency. How much water do we need for this? Normally, normally, um, in the case of uh, frost, frost, frost protection, we need uh, three millimeters per hour of uh, rain of precipitation, which means that uh, with an overhead uh, cover, we can obtain significant results. And it's important to focus on the uh, foliage, on the on the crown, in order to have more benefits. There are several factors, however, that are involved. Uh, they are equally important. They must be considered in choosing, in selecting the best possible frost protection system with micro sprinklers. For example, distance between plants, the diameter of the crown of the foliage, the size of the area, the um, past um, track record of um, weather events in the area uh, and also weather reports, of course, uh, for the future. Water availability, of course, if I have no water when it is needed, well, in that case, the system would not work.
la topografia, topography and special micro um, climate conditions, for example, valley floor areas, etc. And the others, a frequency, uh, expected frequency of uh, spring frost. So these are factors that are to be taken into consideration. The design phase is very important. You have to design your system properly. The system is based on a physical principle, which is the um, phase transition of water from liquid to solid. The physical principle underlying um, the active protection against late frost uh, focuses on water phase transition. So water changes um, from, solid, from liquid to solid. And because of this, thanks to the release of 80 calories per gram of water, as a result of this, as around the bud or the flower, there is a clear, a transparent uh, ice layer that protects the plant. And this practice must be kept and maintained for the whole of the risk period. The idea is of keeping this um, layer of, uh, of ice always wet, but we don't have to exaggerate, otherwise there would be too much weight on the plant. The water that is administered must be such that the water um, released by water, by, sorry, the heat released by water uh, does not cause an excessive lowering of uh, the uh, temperature for the um, plant organs. So temperature must be around zero and there must be a continuous application of water to achieve that temperature range with an intensity of irrigation of 1 to 1.5 millimeters per hour, well, you can have an increase in 4.5 degrees. With three grams of water per hour, you can have six um, degree uh, Celsius increase in temperature. And when should we start the uh, frost um, protection uh, measures? Well, through a um, wet bulb thermometer or a dry bulb thermometer. If we don't have any technical tools to be aware of uh, the situation, of course, the system must be opened up when the temperature is above zero, so that when we open up the system, there is a drop in temperature by two degrees, but then there is a curve, which is uh, can be calculated, uh, there is a curve on whereby the temperature goes up. If we start when the temperature is too low, that would be a problem because immediately when we open up the system, the temperature goes back, um, goes down a couple of degrees. So we have to open up when the system is, since the temperature is above zero. Our um, product is called Pulsar. It's a very innovative system which allows us to um, have a um, regular wetting uh, of the um, of the area and uh, this is a high energy saving and water saving system because uh, of course we can focus waiting just to the foliage to the crown of the plant so because of this water is um, saved even though the uh, three millimeter precipitation range is always ensured pulsar is a tool which is basically empty and inside then there is an airbag which causes an increase in temperature within the cylinder and when the pressure goes up, water is released. And when it is empty, the um, pressure goes down. So it's a pulsing intermittent system, which is associated with specific technical features. Pulsar is an innovation in frost protection. And as I was saying, you can save lots of water because um, you can save up to 70% of water compared with total full cover uh, systems. We'll show you a few images on uh, about field application of pulsar system with specific sprinkler, sprinklers for apple tree, apple tree, uh, apple orchards. You will be able to see that the water is always very clear, sensitive. This is 
and 2018. So there are several field applications. This is an apple tree, and you can see that it was on the 6th of May 2018, and there was a very late frost, minus 3 degrees. So the system had to be used, a pulsed system, to protect flowers that are very, very delicate. They are very sensitive. And uh, mm, the same technique can be used in other areas. For example, in citrus fruit um, growing area, their tolerance is a bit better, of course, but sometimes protecting fruit with a transparent uh, layer of ice is good. It is very useful to avoid damage to uh, the harvest. Now, mm, back to apple trees. This is Sofia, the name of the company in Kles in Trentino. You can see that uh, both flowers and leaves are um, covered in a with a layer of transparent thin ice. Uh, same uh, farm, you can see that uh, the flower is very well protected by this crystal clear ice. This is early morning, and uh, at this moment the system goes on working. When the ice uh, melts, of course, the system stops. Usually, we provide a complete solution, an overall solution to our customers, which means a technical agronomical analysis of the area, of the terrain, of the crop. Then we provide you with a report, uh, with a design of the uh, system as it should be. If mm, required, this is a, a turnkey, let's say, service. And then we also give you a after sale service for maintenance and for identifying the best possible strategies for uh, frost protection. Let me conclude. We have seen how climate change has increased the need to work on active protection systems in the case of frosts. Late frosts are increasingly frequent and they cause harm uh, to uh, crops, as it happened in 2017, also in Italy, as we could see. The types of protection that may, may be many, we think that uh, water can be rationally used and can be very effective. Uh, frost protection system is based on physical principles and on a proper uh, design. We can have a good coverage of the whole of the foliage and uh, frosts so that we can really have a good uh, frost mitigation. And through Pulsar, we can have a remarkable water saving starting from a technical analysis and with a correct analysis of the availability of water, of the type of terrain, etc. We can mm, provide you with a proper project which can be installed and we can also um, provide you with a very efficient after-sale service that will help you safeguard your um, harvests. Okay, thank you very much. Goodbye.